Sophia? Sophia! Where are you? Do I have to start the show on my own? Nope, I'm right here, and I have all three Deathly Hollows. Harry Potter and the Deathly Hollows Part 2. This movie concludes the Harry Potter series. Harry Potter, Ron, and Hermione are busy destroying Horcruxes, and they are preparing to return to Hogwarts for the final battle against Voldemort. Harry feels as though he can do everything by himself, but he learns a valuable lesson in this movie, and that lesson is sometimes teamwork can really help you to achieve your goal. Um, my favorite character would probably be Severus Snape, because he really, um, you find out that um, he put a lot of love and work to be with Harry's mom, and you find out how much he cared about her in his life. My favorite character is probably Hermione, because she was just really supportive of Harry, and she was really loving and caring to everybody, and she always had the right spell in any situation, and she wasn't afraid to go into danger. I recommend this movie for ages 9 and up because I think that it was um, really funny out of my head. And um, it had a lot of powerful spell work and a lot of baldy. We're going to call him baldy because he's got no hair, so there was a lot of baldy. I'm too young to die, Harry. I would recommend this movie for ages 11 and up because I felt like there was a lot of blood and violence, but there was also a lot of really thematic things that made me feel very sad, like I wanted to cry, and so I think that it might be hard for people that are younger than that age to appreciate what really is taking place, and it was a little bit scary with all the violence and everything. I rate this movie five popcorns because I loved all of the really cool spells and all of the new um, things that you see. I will rate this movie three popcorns because I didn't really like the battle scene. I thought that it could have been a little bit more in depth and a little bit more interesting. I also thought that we could have used a little bit more information on the Ravenclaw common room. There were not, I didn't really know much about the Death Eaters. I did not really like how the scenes were done. And I just thought that it was a little bit, I think they should have combined the first Deathly Hollows movie with the second Deathly Hollows movie to make it more cohesive. My heart kernel was probably that this movie had a lot of missing or characters that I thought were kind of hard to understand. Like Charlie Weasley wasn't even in the movie, any of the movies at all. And Fenrir Greyback, he was supposed to be a werewolf and he did not look very werewolfy. So I think that that was very hard to understand if you hadn't read the books. And it was kind of hard for me to actually say, oh wait, that's Ben Rear Greyback. That's wrap for this episode of Cinema Sisters. This concludes our reviews of the Harry Potter movies. Tune in next week when we have a very special Harry Potter blooper reel. And then we will be reviewing the original Bad News Bears, followed by the Pirates of the Caribbean movies. If you'd like to contact us, please visit us at input cinemasisters.org where you can suggest movies best Caribbean. You can use us at G, PG, or PG 13. You can also do this on our Facebook page and follow us on Instagram at Cinema Sisters1123. Hope you have a lovely week. Oh, so